Hey, so I'm just gonna do a really quick rundown of autistic burnout in kids and things that I've noticed personally through my son. So the first one would be that he started having stomach aches, headaches, we were using the toilet a lot. There was, he was just generally a lot more tense. You know your kids really well, don't you? So you, you know when things are different. His food choices changed. He was no longer willing to try different things. Um, he wanted his safe foods. He wanted them cooked the right way and put on the plate the right way. And so we did it. Uh, the other thing is that he didn't want to go out and do things that he once enjoyed before. When I look back over pictures, I've got pictures of him going out, doing a lot more when he was younger. Then we hit burnout and he just couldn't cope with it anymore. So we had to rearrange what we were asking of him and what we did. And like, I would take my other kid out and, and, and allow him to stay at home. I often find that they aren't masking anymore. And you probably didn't even realize they were masking because I didn't with my son. But once he went into burnout, the stims, his, all of his little stims came out a lot more and I just embraced them. Another thing that changed for my son was his communication ability. I remember trying writing things down, um, doing, you know, texts, um, many different ways you can do it. But one of the fun ways we did it for dinner was charades. So like, you know, what do you want for dinner? Chicken. <laughs> um, I think it's fun just to not make light of the situation, but, but keep things light and that it's okay. And they're okay to need to communicate in whatever they need to communicate in. You know, my son is coming out the other side of it and starting to, to chat a heck of a lot more again now, thank goodness, it's wonderful. But it was what it was, and so we just went with it. So if your child is uh, having lots of headaches and stomach issues and, and, and everything like that, obviously you rule out the medical, physical side of things. Uh, but then I would definitely consider that they might be in burnout and just need all of the asks taken away from them. That might even be school. It was for my son. It was too much. So start reevaluating what it is that you see that they find hard. What do they react to most? Is it because they react in a big way or do they react in a, a small way and they go in on themselves? Um and see what you can do as, as their parent to, to ease it for them. And they can get through it, they will get through it. They uh, obviously just need you on their side, because uh, that's what we do, isn't it, as mums?